Hey, hi guys. Um, today, what I thought we'd do is we would set up the instance ready for my uh, upcoming Let's Play series. And I know a lot of you guys are going to want to uh, download the saves and generally just play with the mods I play play with. So uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you how to set up the instance using MultiMC. Uh, that is the only way I'll show you to set up the instance. Uh, if you can follow what I'm doing with MultiMC, if you are modding without MultiMC, you can in fact probably follow exactly where things need to go just by watching this video anyway. So making a separate video would be a little bit redundant. So what we'll do is we'll we'll crack on and I'll basically um, go through the steps you need to go through. So. If you uh, come to my channel on uh, on Twitch and ask for a list of mods, basically this is the page you're going to get you're going to get a link to. Now, up here I have the configs link, and then we have all the mods listed. Now these version numbers are probably going to be wrong. In fact, I know already a lot of them are out of date. It's quite a job to try and keep the version numbers up together, so just just go for the latest version of whatever mod is there unless otherwise said uh, there are a couple of mods listed that have uh, an indication of where they go just afterwards so uh, the only five that you really need to worry about are you got Forge which I think is on 499 now you got Optifine which I think is on B4 um, they go in the jar so if I've got these pre-downloaded here uh, as my jar mods. Then you have core mods, code chicken core, dynamic lights, and NEI. And I've got those in a folder here called core mods. And then the rest of them just go in the mods folder, which is here. And I have the config zip in my config folder there. Just so you can see what I've done. And I've literally, I've, I've just spent the time to go through making sure each of these links works. So each of these links will take you to the right place and you should be able to find the downloads there and obviously the, zip, uh, the configs there so if we get rid of that for now um, I have an instance set up here which is just multi MC and I've run it one time so we have multi MC we're going to make a new instance of multi MC in multi MC should I say I'm just going to call this QMods and we want Minecraft 147. Bam. So if we right click that and edit the mods, basically we get our uh, our tabs up now. With our jar mods, we'll grab those, drop them in there. Now this has shown up with Forge in first place. Sometimes, depending on how they're saved in your folder, you may find that uh, Optifine is above Forge, you need to make sure Forge loads first before Optifine, otherwise you're going to have problems. Now Core Mods, Core Mods are a little bit different because of the way Dynamic Lights is working, so grab Code Chicken Core and NEI, drag those in, and then hit View Folder to bring up the folder that this is saved in. You need to open up the zip for Dynamic Lights, Go into Setup, Core Mods, and just drag Dynamic Lights in from there. So Dynamic Lights is hidden inside the zip. Close that and close that. Hit Reload here, and that should bring Dynamic Lights in there. Mods folder, fairly straightforward as well. Um, there is a, a slight exception with this one as well so if we select all of those but we want to go to ruins unselect that one drag all the rest of them into uh, into the mods folder hit view folder then we need to go into our ruins zip into setup and mods and we just need the ruins zip and the resources and drag those into that mods folder like so and they are the only two dynamic lights and ruins the uh, 
the stuff you want is inside the zip otherwise it's straightforward now hit reload there as well that should bring ruins into into here the ruin spawning system and what we'll do is we'll, we'll close that off right click this and view the folder now we want to go into minecraft and right here is where we need to put our configs so if we open up the zip for the configs and just drop that in there like that perfect now what we should be able to do should run that it's going to log me in hopefully this is where minecraft's down this is where we have the login servers down it's downloading minecraft for me fantastic and this is where I'm, I'm thinking that it's, it's going to hiccup because I didn't download minecraft first but we'll see we will see so this is going to take a little bit of time because it's loading up 80 mods right now so uh, while this loads we, we will all keep our fingers crossed this is going to go without a hitch and it should do um, because you're using my exact setup so uh, and you've seen just how easy it is to set up there we go we have our minecraft loaded uh, 80 mods forge 499 and Optifine B4. So we can now create a new world. Let's do this just to make sure that everything is working and you're not going to crash as soon as you make a new world. And again, this is going to take a, a little bit of time because there's quite a few world gen mods and things going on. So uh, with any luck, you shouldn't have too many problems, but it's the initial world creation does take a, a couple of minutes. And you will flash back to the screen a few times, but there we go. We have we have our world. Um, let's just flip into cheat mode with any eye, and we'll go for a little fly around, just so we can have a look, see what we got. Well, immediately you can see we're in a, an extra biome. Biome. Um, let's see if we can find any of the ruin stuff. There's a ruins ruin fantastic so there we go guys that is how you set up your instance the red power volcano in the background look really really not that difficult um, just follow the list of mods that I've, I've put on the sheet download the config